Okay, so what I'm going to walk you through right now is essentially how to use Acuity Scheduler, scheduler um, to collect payments from your website when you're a service-based business. Now, this can also work for things like purchasing courses or qualifying someone for coaching, um, but in general, this is to be used for um, service-based businesses. If you're selling a mostly course mostly courses or mostly digital products, I would recommend using Shopify as the way that you integrate a payment system. But for service-based businesses, this is really, really a great tool that we have available to us. So this is Acuity. I'll put the link below this video as well. So essentially what we're gonna do today is we're going to create two different types of appointments. Actually, we're gonna create three different types of appointments and three different intake forms that go with those. So we're gonna work on creating like a 20 minute consult appointment this is really great for discovery calls um, or short appointments for anyone in the health industry. We'll create a full consultation. So that would be a 90 minute appointment. This is more of an in-depth appointment. It's also a great opportunity to do um, quick strategy calls if you're a business coach. Um, and then finally, we'll create like a large ticket offer, which this is just giving you guys an option. If you are doing, for example, three month packages, this is a really great way that you can um, accept payment for that without needing to like integrate with something like Kajabi. So what we'll do right now is as you can see, we're under the heading called appointment types. When you first log into your Acuity, it's gonna look like this. You're gonna head over onto the left-hand side here. And what you're gonna hit is appointment types. And then this is what it looks like. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna add a new type of service. I'm gonna call this basic consult. $45, perfect, it comes right up. You're going to make sure that you select the calendar that you want this consultation to be applied to. So we're gonna pick Lindita's work schedule. The time duration for this is 20 minutes, the cost is $45. And you're just gonna hit create appointment type. Super simple, we've got, now we've got an appointment type here that's $45. We're gonna do the same thing, new type of service, in-depth consultation, the cost of this is $150, it's a 90 minute, again, you're putting it here, create appointment type, don't forget the calendar. As you can see, guys, it's really hard to screw this platform up because they really do have such a great user interface. If you forget something, they're gonna let you know. Adding a new type of service again. And finally, this is gonna be, there we go, we'll just call it three month service. I'm just gonna leave this as 30 minutes because you're really just using this as a way to collect payment. Create appointment type. Perfect. Now, what we wanna do is be able to ask different types of questions for different, um, services. So this is really helpful, for example, if you're a graphic designer and someone is requesting a website design versus a simple social media graphic, you're going to have different questions that you want to ask them. So this is really, really helpful here. But what we're going to do now is add in that additional form. So we're going to go back to home and you can see it's pretty well labeled here, intake forms. You're just going to click on that. And as you can see, I've already created two forms here, one for the basic consultation and one for the in-depth consultation. But what I'll show you guys is how to create a new intake form. Again, you're just gonna click up here, new custom form. This is going to be three months service at $1,500. You can add a description in here if you desire. And as you're designing, Form. So as you're building out your new forms, you will get the opportunity to select which type of appointment you want this form to apply to. So I'm going to go ahead there and click three month service. And I'm just going to add a couple of questions. What is your name? And their thing is kicking me out here. So again, we're just gonna go back into intake form questions, three month service, hit edit. 
And as you can see, we have one question in here. I'm gonna add in another question. What is your biggest concern? As you can see, I clearly provide websites for people. And this one, again, you can see it's clicked here on the three month service. We're gonna hit save form. And from here, if we go back to our intake form questions, you can see now that this one says nothing here, whereas these two say not showing. These say not showing because they do not have an appointment type link up to them. So I'm just gonna click into one of them, hit edit, and I'm gonna link up the appointment type. This is a basic consult. Save that form. Head back and now do this one. And this is going to be the in-depth consultation. Perfect, so now all your forms are completely linked. What we're gonna wanna go to as well, I just wanna quickly show you, if I go over here to appointment types on the left-hand side, what you can see here is the price and the length of time here. But what I wanna show you guys is this direct scheduling link. This is gonna be really important. This is the link here, this direct link that you can copy and add into the clickable button on your website or in your Showit account, if you're using a Showit template, um, that's going to enable you to start taking payments directly from your website and also qualifying your clients. So you're, you'll just copy this link right here and place it inside the button on your website. Um, pretty simple, really cool platform and really, really great tool for any service-based business. Let me know if you guys have absolutely any questions and we will chat soon.